Hi, Jembe family. My name is Suleiman Kompo from a uh, master drummer from West Africa, Guinea, Conakry. I'm based in London and has been create Wontanara drum and dance group called Wontanara and we've been here for a long time. So um, today I'm going to introduce you a rhythm which is very popular in Africa called Kuku. I know Kuku is from Africa but Kuku is originally from Guinea. So I would like to introduce a bit of a, a technique on the djembe and then after that I'm going to introduce the full rhythm from introductions, a call, from call, introduction and rhythm part one and rhythm part two. So please pay attention and watch this video very carefully and I will see you soon. Okay, so Master Kompo again, this time I'm going to show you a bit technique what we call it djembe from Guinea. All Africa we have drums to play but definitely to be honest we have different drums to play. If you playing a djembe, if you will playing djembe what we call a djembe fola, that's the language we use, djembe fola, you need to know how to treat the drum before even start to play the drum. So first, I'm going to give you the uh, introduction how to hold your drum to get ready even to play it. You're going to sit in your chair, move forward, sit straight, and then after that, grab your drum very carefully and then bring to right to yourself. So the, right, the drum is not flat, make sure the drum is a bit banging, okay? And then after that, cross your feet on top of it, okay? If you do this, then you ready for the djembe. You can, we, we can call it African drums, okay? But, after you're ready, I'm going to show you the technique how you can, you can get improve the slab, the tone, and the bass. My experience teaching how that can get the tone and the slab really clear, even, even though you haven't played the djembe before, but if you follow the correct introductions, the correct introductions, you can definitely make the drum sound correctly, even though you haven't been playing for a long time. So you see my both hands, I can spread out and close it, spread out and close it. So the same, when you play the drum, you have to do the same, okay? So first, I'm gonna introduce the slab. So the slab is a half away in hands on the drum, okay? And then fingers spread out, that's slab. Now, Again, tone, you close the fingers. And the same space here on the edge, and then the way this is where the tone is, and then close your fingers. Okay? So slab spread out, tone closing. And then the whole hands flat right in the middle and then bounce. But when you bounce the drums, you kind of different bouncing, isn't it? If you bounce pressing, you can't get the sound right. But if you bounce softly and then gentle, you can get the sound right, okay? So watch this. I'm going to demonstrate with my right hand on the slab with the fingers spread out. Listen the sound very carefully. Okay, that's the slab. Now, I'm going to second is turn with the fingers closed. It always make a different sound. And then this is the same place of the drum now this time i'm gonna go to the middle which is bouncing with the bass like i said to bounce the bass is kind of technique isn't it it's not like pressing if you press you can't get the sound right but if you bounce the gentle and then softly you can get the sound right so that's what i'm going to do exactly so watch this okay now i'm going to demonstrate bass slap and tone Hear the sound. Bass, slap, turn. Bass, slap, turn. Okay, so this is was my right hand. Now I'm gonna show my left hand. I'm gonna do the same. So start with spread out, which is called slap. 
and then close tone and then bass my hand flat right in the middle that's bass again i'm gonna start with bass slap and tone on my left hand bass slap tone bass slap tone bass slap tone okay that's normally the technique you can get to play the drum now i'm gonna put my hands together and then pl play a few slap which is two slaps okay so for example if i do this slap slap okay so that's slap and i'm gonna use next tone 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 and bass bass next okay so if you put that together how do you can play that create and play a rhythm so first i will start with this two slap two tone and two bass so watch this slap slap tone tone bass bass or you can start with bouncing bass 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 slap slap tone tone so you can basically have this technique practice like that but you need to you need to keep practicing you can practice just one day and you get the technique right you need to keep practicing every day or if you don't have it every day but at least once a week or twice a week you need to keep practicing then you can get better and better that's the way the secret is for djembe okay so i'm gonna demonstrate a little bit faster on the slab only you can hear how it look like okay how we can make a difference quickly so that's only slaps and i can do only tones so i can do combination between slap and tone okay if i want to do a quick tone yeah okay okay all right that's quick tone if i do a quick bass but it's depend how you bounce the bass okay so i'm gonna put, play a simple rhythm put it together how you're gonna hear the sound how it look like so at first i'm gonna have slap and second i'm gonna have bass and third i'm gonna have tone and finish with my left tone okay so right left right and left so that means slap this first slap will be in your right the second is bass in your left and then come back to the right hand on the tone and then the left will finish the last tone so that means one slap one bass and two tone at the end okay right so watch this slap bass tone tone so i did exactly what i said okay so if i want to play a little bit faster and i put this uh, the combination together uh, together between the, the all of the what i just play you can see how it look like okay so i'm going to start with the slap slap bass tone tone 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 you see so this is the way you can make up a rhythm but back back in africa we have so many rhythms you can learn like this and then you know you continue you continue uh, practice 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 so um this is the this is the presentation i have to give you for you know for rhythm cuckoo and i hope you're gonna learn it the way uh, i demonstrate everything and then you can get it right anytime okay thank you very much jimbe family and i will see you soon with the next video thank you very much bye Okay, again, um, I'm going to demonstrate a rhythm cuckoo from Guinea, Conakry. And first, what I'm going to do, I'm going to break down the rhythm by introduction, part one and part two. So, um, pay attention, watch carefully my hands 
and you can see how tone and slap and bass is going. Okay, thank you very much. Listen to this. Okay, good. Hi again, Sliman Kompo. Now, I'm going to teach a rhythm cuckoo, so please uh, listen and pay attention. I'm going to break it down the way uh, my teaching experience is from rhythm one to rhythm two. So, call, introduction, and rhythm. Call, introduction, and rhythm. So, that means call, introduction, part one. Call introduction part two. So I'm gonna break it down for you and then you see how it goes. Okay, so first we're gonna learn what we call intro. You can call it a call if you like, you know, um, to start the rhythm. Okay, so the call is very simple hands together and you're gonna work it out with tone and slap at the edge of the drum. Okay, so this is the call one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four, okay, so that's the call to start, now number two, I'm going to break it down to introduction, so call an introduction very slowly for you, okay, I'm gonna do that again. I'm gonna repeat that again one, once more. Yeah, this is the beginning. Again, call and introduction. One, two, three, four. Okay, so that's me. That means it's a call and response. So next, what's going to happen, you check through support one, what we call a djembe, djembe rhythm one, okay? Okay, so rhythm one, I'm going to play through and then I will take you from introduction and the rhythm straight after that. So listen again. Here, I'm going to use tone, slap and tone. So after the call, you start with your right hand with the slap, yeah? Demonstrate again one more time, yeah. Listen very carefully again. Part one. Okay, good. So now I'm gonna take you through call introduction and part one okay again listen very carefully two rhythms different teacher teach more rhythms but for my experience teaching with cuckoo 
I just teach two rhythms, okay? So break it down with call and respond to rhythm two. Now, I'm gonna take what we call rhythm two. So now we've done a rhythm one, we're gonna go to enter a call, introduction, rhythm two again, okay? So every time you've done each rhythm, you have to do the introduction and the call, the introduction, and you come to the rhythms, okay? So I'm gonna demonstrate the second rhythm with call and respond to the second rhythm. Okay, so again, watch carefully and listen. Same call I'm gonna introduce. So you continue with the same call again. The call never change, is always the same again. Okay, now I'm gonna break it down, introduction and part two. So in this part, you can see that um, I break it down to uh, second rhythm. You can see that I always use the same call, and then, and then the introduction is the same and to second rhythm. Okay, that's it's a little bit faster, but this time I'm gonna take it slowly. So in this case, if you give a call here to start the second rhythm, you need to start with your slab on the right. Okay, so tan, ting, ting, ting. Okay, so you go slap bass tone tone okay slap bass tone tone slap bass tone tone slap bass tone tone so it's a little bit confusing because it's second rhythm in this case we are still gonna have slaps and and bass because uh, the first one you can see that i'm using only slap and tone at the h so this time i'm gonna use both so that means the bass and then the slap and then the tone all of them together Okay, so you can see that it's very clear. I'm gonna repeat that once. Yeah, after the call, po, 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 slap, slap, bass, tun, tun, 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 then po, 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 po. So this is the way it is. Again, I'm gonna take it one more time. Okay, now. Okay, very good. So, I hope everybody will be happy for this and watch it very, very, really carefully watching it when you're playing, especially when you're playing the note between the slap and the tone and the bass. Don't mix it up. Cuckoo is a cuckoo. You can never change it. It's from Guinea. Now, we continue still with Rhythm Cuckoo, okay? I'm gonna break it down from, from the first part to the second part, and the whole package together. So listen with the kinky the joining. Ready, Sarah? Yep. Yeah. So this time I'm gonna bring the sangbang in. Okay, ready? So the sangbang again, I'm gonna introduce the same call, the same introduction, 
and you can see how it works with the uh, with the sangban this time okay this time it's not thinking it's sangban next okay so again watch very carefully how this is gonna work between Samba and King uh, and 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 the Jimbe parts. Okay, thank you very much. Ready, say that? Yep. Good, so yeah, we're gonna go to what we call a dundumba. Now I'm gonna break the rhythm down from rhythm one, rhythm two, straight. There's not any gap between the two rhythms. So I'm gonna give her the call from the beginning, break it down, rhythm one, rhythm two, and then we end it. Okay? Thank you very much. This is dundumba. Okay, so this is the last video. I'm gonna put the whole cuckoo rhythm together, which is now you can see behind me, I have Kenkeni, Sangbang, and Dundumba. So this time again, I want you to watch very careful how do we can have that com uh, combination to get call, give a call, and Kenkeni come in, give a call, and the Sangbang come in, give a call, and Dundumba come in. So it's very, it's very simple to do this stuff as you understand it, okay? Thank you very much. For my cheating experience, this is the way I teach any kind of rhythm from Guinea, Conakry. Thank you very much. Yeah, you ready, Sarah? Now, we're gonna start with Kenkeni. So watch how the Kenkeni do when you give a call with the cuckoo rhythm, the Kenkeni come in, okay? Thank you very much. Okay, thank you very much. So that's Kenkeni. You can see that in a call, Kenkeni start. Give it a little bit of time and then come in and you there. Boom. All right. Now, Sangbang. Next. Okay. Again, we're going to do the same thing. Cool. Sangbang. Straight away. Yeah. And you, you in.
Thank you very much. So, next is Dundumba. Okay? So, this is what we call rhythm cuckoo from Guinea. It's a traditional rhythm has been played for a very, very long time. And in new generation, we are still playing the same rhythm. So, to be honest, if you want to learn a, Guinness, a Guinean style on the djembe, on the dundun, on the samba, on the kenkeni, this is what we call cuckoo. Watch the whole video. you got very good idea what you can do with it. Thank you very much. I'm Suleiman Kompo from West Africa, Master Jembe. Not Master Drum, but Master Jembe. Okay? <laughs> Thank you very much. I hope you see the next video as soon.